Hi everybody, here's a very quick video to show you how to take through Design Space this new SVG to make this lovely um, shadow box showing deer in snowy hills and trees and a little robin at the front wishing you Merry Christmas. This is a seven layer file uh, including the very back layer uh, which is made of, um, which I cut from PVC actually, but you could cut it from vellum or anything really, really transparent that allows the lights that are in the back of the box to shine through and make those stars really sparkle. Uh, so, okay, so let's go to Design Space and bring it in and we'll have a look at it. It's very easy. I'll bring it in from scratch because some people are still struggling with that. Uh, let me find it. It's under D, I think. And tree shadow box, there's the SVG. So just continue when you get to this window, nothing to do, just upload, and it lands on your canvas. I'll just zoom out a bit, and I'm going to make the canvas actually a different colour so it's a little bit easier to see. So I'm just going to click down here where it says blank canvas, and then up here there's this little box where you can choose a colour, and I'll just make it pale yellow so we can see what we're doing. OK, so it lands on your canvas and it will be selected. All you need to do is ungroup it. I'm on the desktop version of Design Space for PC. Ungroup for me is at the top of the layers panel over here on the right. That lets you see the two groups inside and with my SVGs, the top group is always where the lines that need converting to score live. We can't make lines come in already set to score. You've just got to do that little operation yourself. So select that group go to the operations menu, click where it says basic cut and then choose score from the drop down and you can see that those lines have been converted now and because there's more than one set of them we have to ungroup them. Then you're just going to click on that group below that has all the cut pieces and ungroup that. So now everything's separate and we can attach the scores to the individual pieces that they relate to and the easiest way to do that just click on canvas somewhere near a piece, just one piece Drag a box to more or less enclose it and choose Attach from the bottom of the Layers panel. If you're on a mobile device, these uh, menu instructions will be a little, a little bit different. They'll be somewhere else in a row along the bottom probably, but you're looking for the same operation. Right, and so that's, uh, yeah, we need two. It's a square frame, obviously. Those are the frame walls, so we're just going to duplicate those so we've got two of each. You do get a PDF of very detailed instructions which tells you what every piece is so you don't really need to know now except to say that's the back of the frame, that's the window of the frame, those are the four walls and then we've got layer 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 of the uh, actual shadow shadow box, I don't know if you call it that, yeah shadow box. Uh, and then this wording here, we're just going to attach that and you'll probably want to just make that a different colour because you'll be cutting it from um, a piece of vinyl or something, I think. It's too too fine, really, to cut out of card, so I use HTV on mine. I like putting HTV on paper rather than permanent just because sometimes it's a little bit easier to use, you know, the transfer sheet that comes with HTV because it won't stick to your card, it won't, tear, it won't tear it, and you don't need a lot of heat or pressure to make the HTV stick to the... Um, the cardboard either so it's quite a good one to go for right so that's everything ready to go I'm gonna click make don't need to save it this project will cut all from 12 by 12 on the standard mat so I'm going to just choose 12 by 12 those are your six uh, white layers this gray layer I cut mine from PVC you could cut it from vellum if you can get it big enough uh, the link to all these materials are in the PDF of description, uh, PDF of instructions as well, so you don't need to go looking for those. There's a tiny bit that you're going to cut from vinyl of some sort. You can choose any size for that; it doesn't matter. That's the glass of the frame, for want of a better word. It's I again. I cut mine from PVC, and the link is in the description. That's the sky layer, that's also going to cut from navy card, but again on 12 by 12 And then these are the frame pieces, but they will also cut from 12 by 12 So to make the frame, five sheets of 12 by 12 what, Is that right? One, two, yeah, four walls on the back And then for the actual shadow box part of it Five sheets of white, one sheet of PVC or vellum, whatever you decide to use um, 
a one sheet of navy blue and a scrap of vinyl for the greeting on the front. Okay, if you have any issues when you come to uh, cut or assemble it, please don't hesitate to get in touch. I don't know if I scrolled through these pictures, did I, in the beginning? There's just some close-ups there. You can see the HTV. It's some lovely uh, gold metallic stuff I got from HTV Ront that I used there. Or HTV Ront, or however you're supposed to say it. I don't know. That's my go-to for iron-on. I really like it. Just a few more close-ups there. It looks nice, even when it's not lit up, this one. But um, obviously when it's, it's meant to be lit up and it looks like that, then I think it looks really pretty. Uh, the links to... I've digressed a bit there, haven't I? The links to get in touch are in the description underneath this video. And if you've just stumbled across the video and you'd like to buy the SVG, there's a link for that there too. Don't forget, if you're purchasing three or more SVG files at one time from the Tanglecraft Studio Etsy shop, the link is in the description, you can use the 30 for 3 discount code to get 30% off your total purchase. This offer runs all the time, but you need to use that code when you check out. And if you haven't already joined the Tanglecraft Studio Facebook group, join now to get any special Etsy discount codes issued to group members and to take advantage of the free SVG files I give away in the group from time to time. The link to the group is in the description. I hope to see you there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.